all right guys what's up this is chris this is a big deal um this is not going to be a gaming video for a minute this is not going to be anything except for i'm a little bit irritated with the washington dc mayor right now as a veteran of two branches of the military this woman miss muriel browser she ejected members of the utah national guard from a hotel in the district initially she claimed that it was because of the fact that it was the third amendment so unre you know no quartering troops um and properties but basically she's changed her story now she said now oh it's because of budget claims and this article is from military times and so some 200 utah guard members were evicted from the marriott marquee on the white house on friday after concluding their duty protecting the people in dc senator mike lee said in a follow-up statement they had finished an all-night shift at 3 a.m Friday, they were booted from the hotel by 11 a.m. Despite having another shift. So basically, she caused them to have to, to run all shifts and late night shifts without sleep. That's irresponsible. That's dangerous. That's not using good risk management. It's not using just good policy. So the optics don't look good. This, this mayor who took public funds, public funds, to deface public property this is the same mayor that did this she painted uh the black lives matter which whatever you think about them doesn't matter should not be used for public funds to make political statements that's taxpayer dollars you can have a differing opinion but that's that's a misuse of public funds so after that wonderful uh event so <clears throat> she should take it out up with the president if she has a problem, she can talk to the president directly. She's a mayor of a city. She can talk to the state. You know, D.C. is not a state. She can actually um, communicate with the president directly. D.C. is not. It is the District of Columbia. So they have different rules for the military. Now, whatever you think of what's going on right now, this is 100% shameful. So Bowser says she called... Uh, she says she has no authority of who does or doesn't stay at hotels. So let's let's break it down real clearly. The National Guard, they purchased this hotel stay as a private um, organization. Basically, the, the hotel itself is not a public organization. It's a Marriott. It's a private business that has the ability to be able to hire who they want to hire. Or, or to transact with who they want to transact. So everyone on, on Twitter and Facebook was calling for, oh, Third Amendment, Third Amendment, quarantining troops. And, and uh, no, it would be different if the president had gone out and said, yes, um, I'm going to claim this property, this Marriott Hotel, for the military. That's not what happened. So anybody that thinks that the Third Amendment applies in this case does not understand the Constitution. Just because you read it and you think now that that's the way it is, that's not what it is. So, you know, she, she's now trying to walk it back, and she's trying to say, "Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't intend to to evict any guardsmen from any hotel." So again, you know, this is poor leadership. It's very disrespectful, and it's a quick mistake. So the, you know, National Guard they quickly resolved the issue, and they found another hotel. So, yeah, so they had to uproot soldiers, warriors, heroes, because most people don't understand the National Guard is not the National Guard of old. The National Guard actually deploys more than the active duty military. The National Guard is a branch of service that is, yes, is controlled by the states. So it's under a different title. But the president has the authority, if he wants to, to augment the National Guard with active duty. Simple as that. Anybody that tells you different does not understand the military and does not understand laws. There are six times that presidents have called out the active duty military to supplement the National Guard. And in cases like this, it seems like it's pretty prudent. So, again, this uh, Bowser on Friday ordered a Black Lives Matter mural painted across several streets near the White House and changed the street signs to read Black Lives Matter Plaza. So whatever you think about the organization, that's a political statement. You don't have to agree with um, all organizations, but you have to agree with the fact that that's using public funds, public dollars, tax dollars. And that's why I'm so thankful that I live in Florida and don't live in the 
ridiculous District of Columbia and to see what Maryland and places around there have become. And if this offends you, I'm sorry, but the, what I speak is 100% truth. Um, you know, the military does a very hard job in many places. National Guard goes to Iraq. They go to all kinds of terrible places across the world, and they even have the mission of humanitarian relief. When there are floods, when there are earthquakes, when there are fires, when there are hurricanes, who steps in? The National Guard. And this is how you're going to treat them because you're trying to score political points against the president? That's pathetic. The mayor of D.C. should be fired, and she is an absolute partisan hack, and she's a joke. Again, I don't normally get political on this channel, but this is something I'm very passionate about, and this really irritates me. And I will debate anyone who wants to talk about it and who wants to um, discuss it. I mean, you can look at all kinds of stuff going on. Detroit's mayor rejecting National Guard to offer to distribute food in the city. There's all kinds of stupid stuff going on right now. The, the military, all, Most military members couldn't give a crap about politics. All they want to do is just help people. That's what it is. It's not about going into the cities and putting down revolutions or quelling protests. I guarantee you, the military rolls up to anywhere these violent protests are going on, they will be over in a heartbeat. And the military will carry themselves as respectful. They will be honorable. They will use the least amount of force possible because that's what they're trained to do. You can think what you want about the police, but the military should be allowed to be able to help protect citizens where it's needed, especially the National Guard. And the states and the cities that have violated the public trust, yes, they violated the public trust. Simple as that. It's pathetic. And I'm ashamed for those states and those cities that are doing so. So I hope you found this video at least informative, enlightening. It should upset you as a American citizen even if you're visiting this country, you should, under, you should want law and order. You can think what you want about what happened with George Floyd, but you want law and order. That's simple as that. That's, that's day one stuff. And nobody's talking about the amount of people that have died in inner cities that, thanks to whatever kind of violence, gang violence, criminals. No one's talking about that. And this, this veteran right here is, is ready to um, peacefully start pushing back against idiocy. I've been quiet on political matters on YouTube. I've, I've posted on my personal Facebook amongst friends, but I'm no longer going to stay quiet. I've had enough, and this is absolutely asinine to me. It's embarrassing for our country, and those that are doing, you know, the leaders in those cities should be ashamed of themselves. So immediately, all of a sudden, now Corona's over, and we're, you know, because of the, of the George Floyd killing, which we all agree was senseless. Nobody thinks that that was okay. Nobody thinks that, you know, the cop should not be punished. There's no, there's no question that the guy acted wrong. But let's have an investigation. But that doesn't give people the right to burn property, break into places, steal TVs, steal things that aren't theirs. That's called crime. That's not a protest. Let's be very clear about what it is. It's called crime. So I hope you found this, this informative Definitely want to hear what your thoughts are. Again, I apologize for the tone. This is not me trying to be, you know, making statements or trying to get views. I just, I had to vent a little bit. And I thank you guys so very much for coming by the channel. Um, we'll get back to gaming here very shortly. But that's all I wanted to say. So thank you. And we'll see you guys next time.